Hi folks, this is Peach Mario with a new video about uh, handling plugins with uh, TillyWiki and Node configuration. In the last video, I did show you how you can install uh, official plugins using the TillyWiki.info file. Yeah? And in this video, we will have a closer look how we can uninstall uninstall uh, plugins with Node.js. Yeah? Um, if we go, so the server is already started uh, with TillyWiki and Listen, and this is here localhost with eight port 8080, and we have installed the menu bar plugin. Yeah? So um, it's possible to open the control panel plugin section and remove, or let's say delete, uh, this plugin, yeah? and save and reload. Yeah? And it is really gone. Yeah? But the next time you close and start the server and reload, then it's there again. Why this? Because the plugin was included with the tillywiki.info file here in the plugin section. So every time the server starts, it creates a new wiki. Yeah? And this wiki will be served. Yeah? So how can we remove it? It's relatively simple. Uh, we remove this line and remove this uh, colon and that's it. Then save it, save and reload the server. Uh, okay, if we reload it now, then the plugin is really gone from this client server configuration. Uh, so that's more or less uh, the information yeah, and a little bit of testing. The description is here at uninstalling a plugin with Node.js. So if you search for plugins, yeah, there you get the overview, uh, which I have already created some videos, how handling plugins with a single file wiki. Then we did in the last video install, installing official plugins and now installing plugins. Yeah. So the easiest way is to remove it from the plugin section. Yeah, that's basically it. In the next video, we will have a closer look about how plugins work in general. There are several possibilities to work with plugins. Yeah, and this will be part of the next video. If you like my videos, please like and subscribe to the channel. It will mean a lot to me. Yeah, see you in the next video. Have fun.